Hey guys, and welcome back. It's been a minute, but I am back and just want to chill, relax, vibe out, do some makeup. I feel like I haven't done a video like this in a while where we just, I don't know, chill and do makeup. I've been doing a ton of reviews lately, and I will mention again that I am super happy with what you guys are doing for my channel. It is blowing my mind. I really, really, really appreciate it. So today I just want to do kind of like my go-to makeup routine that I've been doing, I would say maybe the past two to three weeks, and it's flawless every time. So if this is something you are interested in, then just keep watching. I use these to try not to mess up the curl that I do with my bangs. It works sometimes and then other times it does not, but it works better than a headband. A headband will totally screw up my, my curl with my bangs, but these dudes, and eh, they work here and there. I was going to do a video about the Scott Barnes, um, it's not Vaseline, what is it, Aquaphor, the Aquaphor trick underneath of the eyes. I had done that specific hack trick numerous times. I feel like the first time I did it, it worked really, really well. Oh, and let's ignore my nails. <laughs> I need to get them done. I just popped them all off the other day. I feel like it worked sometimes. Other days it did not work at all and it just did not look good. I feel like if you use too much of the Aqua 4, it turns into a disaster very, very quickly. But what I have been doing instead of the Aqua 4, I've been using the Dalba Double Serum All in One Multi Balm. It's like a serum stick. It, and you know that Dalba spray that everybody uses? Let me get it for you. You've probably seen this from numerous people online, the Dalba First Spray Serum. This stuff is awesome, but they have this little stick tube thing, and I feel like it works really, really good, but just don't use too much of it because I think it can make your concealer crease really, really bad, and that's not what we're going for. We're going for the opposite of that but I feel like that works really well. Maybe a little bit better than the Aquaphor hack. Just my opinion, just throwing it out there. So I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is the new one, the Hyaluronic Acid. One that they came out with. I did a review on this. This stuff is amazing. My first impression of it, yeah, it wasn't a review, it was a first impression. My first impression of this was really, really, really good, but I feel like it, really gives a glow to the skin it just makes everything last it looks really really nice on the skin oh i meant to use this first we'll just use a little bit of this this is the elf halo glow that you guys know i'm obsessed with it so i'm gonna go ahead and blend that out but anything with urban decay in their all-nighter spray is just amazing that setting spray is awesome i also love the milani make it last setting spray it's over there that's why i was looking at it but i love that spray too all right now for foundation this has been my um oh no no skip what are you doing okay i think my sound's still on <laughs> <laughs> something popped up on there and <gasps> stop it it says we're still recording so i'm gonna keep going but the elf soft glam satin foundation has been my jam this is in the shade light neutral 21 i cannot get enough of this foundation so i'm just gonna put some on the back of my beauty blender not too too much because basically what I'm trying to do is just match my face to my neck because I do have self tan on. And then I'm going to take a drop or two of the Physicians Formula Butter Glow Bronzing Serum. I freaking love this stuff. And I feel like there's not a lot of love when it comes to that product. And that product is amazing. Actually, I'm going to go in with a brush. I've been using a brush lately, which is crazy for me. But then I think I'm going to go in with the beauty blender after. I feel like I use a brush when I'm in a rush. Like a lot of mornings before work, I will use a brush. Because I don't feel like getting my beauty blender, like washing my beauty blender or whatnot. And what I've also been doing lately is keeping the foundation um, out from underneath of my eyes. I used to always put the foundation underneath my eyes. But... 
I have not been doing that lately. And then I'm just gonna go back in with my damp beauty blender and just make sure we are even everywhere. That combination matches my self tan so good, at least in person. Sometimes the camera doesn't pick up color perfectly, even though I try like hell and post to make sure everything looks the same in person and make sure it's coming off on camera the same, but sometimes that's just not the case, people. Not the case, can't help it. But in person, that combination matches so freaking good. I need this espresso to kick in, baby, come on. Okay, for concealer, I've been mixing the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum with the Iris and Romeo Best Skin Days Concealer. This is light, this is a shade one, I'm pretty sure the lightest shade they have. And the same with this one. What shade are you? Light. <laughs> but this is pretty dark for a light. So I like to mix them. I want to make sure I don't have any cream products here, which sometimes I go back and forth with, with using like a cream bronzer or cr cream blush. But because it's so damn hot outside, I think I've just been sticking to powders. But I will take the lighter shade and put it on the inside of my eye. And then the NYX, see the difference with the shade light? That's really light. And then this one is definitely, to me, not considered light. But potato, 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 right? Potato, tomato, tomato, potato, whatever the people say. But what I like about the Iris in Romeo, it's so thin, lightweight, medium coverage. And because I'm on a little bit of the older side of things, you know, me being oh, uh, almost 39, 39 in August, I do not use so much concealer anymore. I don't use like full coverage concealers anymore. Well, I try not to. Sometimes it just happens. We all just start doing our makeup and then bam before we know it we are just like full glam beyond glam like just drag queened out you know but for me full coverage concealers just don't don't always work for me this is kind of going everywhere but i'm gonna go in with my sponge here oh i do sometimes like to just spray my sponge with some setting spray and this also helps keep the concealer from uh, creasing so bad. So just little tricks, tricks here and there when I'm doing my makeup. I also like to just tap it out while I'm looking up. I always feel like this helps. But see, that's all the concealer I really use. And it gives a nice little highlight underneath of the eyes. But I will go in with some powder and darken it up a little bit. So starting off light like this it ends up working out in the end oh i forgot my setting powder hold please hold please to set i'm going to use my Givenchy prism libra powder this is my best friend can't get enough of this powder it never fails me and i just like to put some on a puff tap out any creases and then just go in and i also like to do this while I'm looking up. I just feel like it helps. Some people don't feel like it helps. I feel like it helps with the creasing. And then I just take whatever's kind of left over and go over my whole face. I'm not necessarily taking any additional powder or anything, just whatever's left over. My next product I talked about in my first impression video, but I actually have been using it every time I do my makeup. It's the Hourglass Vanish Air Pressed Powder. I originally went in with this powder thinking it was a powder foundation before I read more about it while filming my video, but this powder is actually really good. I like it a lot. It does have somewhat of a blurring effect to it, but as far as my makeup staying on all day and looking fresh and flawless, it really helps with that. Yeah, I I just wasn't a fan at first, but then once you start playing with the makeup and figuring out what you like and stuff, you know, I gotta come back and just recant everything I said because it's actually really good. I look so tan in a monitor. I am not this tan in person. <laughs> 
for bronzer, the same bronzer I've been bragging about for months, the NYX Butter Melt Bronzer. So, so, so good. This is in the shade Buttercup. I think it's the lightest shade, but it is so pretty on the skin. It goes on just so smooth. I feel like it just makes you look like you've been out in the sun little bit of a red undertone it's just it's just nice I think it's a nice summer um, bronzer it's just so so pretty for blush the NYX buttermelt blush in the shade getting butter this is such a beautiful blush and come to find out this actually has a little bit of a glow to it there's certain shades in the line that have like a highlight in it when I did my uh, first impression video I did not realize that but yeah there are certain shades that they came out with that kind of have like that highlighter look in it kind of like the rare beauty blush that came out I think Fenty beauty came out with some that have like the highlight in it um, so if you're a fan of that I would give these a shot the thing about the rare beauty blush with the highlight in it when I get out in the sun, it looks like straight glitter on my face, which I am not a fan of. I love the regular Fenty highlighter, but as far as like the blush highlights, I I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan. And we are going in with blush because I love some blush. Blush can make you just look so youthful and blush can be so pretty. So I'm a huge fan of blush. And I like putting a lot on. If you're a judgy person, don't watch my channel, okay? Because I'm going to blush it up over here. What I've also been doing is taking the Maybelline Super Stay Powder Foundation. This is the other trick that Scott Barnes did after he did like the Aquaphor trick. He used this. Oh my gosh, why are you not opening? Hello. There we go. He used this underneath of the eyes, and I was like, I'm gonna try that powder. The thing about this though, I don't take a lot, and I start low, kind of like in the hollows of my eyes, kind of bring it up a little bit. Again, not too, too much. You don't want too much here, just enough, but this kind of sets underneath of the eyes a little more and helps with the creasing just brightens the eyes up some you can take it anywhere you know what I mean but that's where I primarily like to take it but it just gives a nice little highlight underneath of the eyes and if I need to I can go back in with my blush brush and kind of blend things together just like a so speaking of the Fenty highlights I have that right here this is in the shade pretty pearls obsessed with this Fenty killed it with this highlight it's just so beautiful natural looking i don't know there's just something about it that i am obsessed with i feel like i'm cruising like talking super fast and like doing my makeup super fast i think because this has basically been my routine for weeks to where it's like okay like slapping it on going to work slapping it on going out all right, now back in with the setting spray. And not being stingy. And everything is just going to melt together so pretty. These next two products are my new obsession. They're both from CoverGirl. This is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Brow Gel. I don't know why that's difficult to say. <laughs> and then this is the CoverGirl brow liner this is the one millimeter nano pencil in auburn i'm getting used to the color because i was kind of dogging the color a little bit but it has grown on me so i have been using these two products non-stop this brow gel i think what it is not only is the gel good but i love this applicator it's so small and it's just nice there's no white flakes white cast anything like that and i feel like it gives me like in the end a more natural look because i'm not filling in so much you know so it's making my brows the star instead of you know having to use so much 
brow product to make it look like I have hairs. This just brings all my hairs to life. It's just a great, great product and affordable. I love the Ardell one too. I mentioned that a couple videos ago. That one's like freaking cement for your brows. I got that off of Amazon. I actually think I got both of these off of Amazon too, but uh, they sell them in stores. I think I've seen them also like in my local grocery store too. Kind of gives like a laminated look and especially when I go in with this, it just gives such a more natural look, which is amazing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly fill in my brows and then jump back on here and we are, we're killing it. Like I'm almost done here, this is amazing. So let me slap my brows on and I'll be right back. I'm gonna go back in with the Fenty highlighter and take a little itty pitty little brush and just give my brow bone a little bit of a highlight here. Not a lot. It's so funny when I would say maybe like within the last 10 years, I would say, I mean, this was like the thing to do with your brow, right? And then I would say in the past couple of years, people hate it they hate putting it on their brow bone or the inner corners i'm still obsessed i still really like it i feel like it brings your eyes out really makes them pop so i still do it and i don't care what the haters have to say okay okay i think i'm gonna take a little bit of bronzer on my eyelid just to give a little bit i already do have lashes on these are just the ardell press on lashes and they stay on for me for days so they're usually already on i don't always do that but sometimes i do i'm gonna take a little bit underneath as well now for mascara my tried and true essence lash I can never say this essence lash princess false lash effect mascara i have to say it that slow because i will screw it up if i don't okay for lips i don't always line them i am today i'm feeling it today uh this is the nyx nude pink I have a couple other colors. It's hard to talk and do your lip liner. I have a couple other colors, like nude colors. That's all I really go for. Uh, I just can't find them. Take any nude though, any nude. And then I take the NYX No Filter Needed Lip Oil. A lot of NYX today. I couldn't find my e.l.f. Click It Stick It pen. Was it Click It Stick It? <laughs> Stick it and click it and lick it and step. What? Awesome. Look at. Okay, this is so pretty. I just love these lip oils. They're so nice. All right, you guys. So this is the final look. I've been trying to like fix my hair. It's so curly and just a little crazy. Um, but I kind of like it. <laughs> but this is like my go-to look it's nothing too over the top too crazy i love the way it looks it just really makes the skin look beautiful and youthful pretty glowy dewy i love the look that that all-nighter spray gives the skin it just is so pretty and what's most important is my makeup won't move this is like sweat proof humidity proof it just is all the things. I think it's a combination of the all-nighter and the satin, sat what? <laughs> the satin foundation. They just work beautifully together. So for me, it's, it's, it's my go-to, especially in the summer. My makeup doesn't go anywhere. And the hourglass powder, I think that helps too. So I think it's those three in combination that keep my makeup looking flawless beautiful and just long lasting all day so that is it for this makeup look if you liked it please give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button i would really appreciate it and i will see you guys on my next one thanks for watching